Hi everyone, if you're new here, my name is Donna and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I actually went to Primark. I actually went to Primark this morning, basically. I was watching somebody's video and they got a lot of Toy Story merchandise. Um, and like some really cool Toy Story bits in there. So this morning I took a little impromptu visit to Primark and I did come out spending spending a little over two, two spending a little over hundred pounds but I did get two massive bags. Um, let's delve in. Um, I didn't get that many clothes, I mean I'm gonna put it out there. I feel like I just got a lot, I didn't get lots of clothes. Definitely got a lot of like accessories, homeware and some really good bits that's definitely worth picking up if you go in there. So the first thing I got in the homeware section, which is probably one of my most favorite things, this was five pound and it's this beaut, this plant. So this is in one of them like little pots. Um, it's pink, it matches my room. And the plant I thought was really, really nice in it. I've wanted ones a pot with plants like this in it for the longest time. One, these type of leaves are absolutely huge, like massive usually. And when you go in Ikea, these leaves are usually like two pound each. This was five pound well, for one I'm not gonna kill and it's in a really nice pot that matches my room. I mean, I've been willing to pay five pound for the pot anyway, but the fact that it comes as like a plant and it matches my room, I thought, I was so excited, I was so excited about and I just, I've never seen it before, I've never seen it on anyone else's haul, I hadn't seen it on their Instagram page or anything, so I presume it was new in, but I really, really like it and I think it's just really nice and definitely something I don't think at all looks like something you, although obviously Primark have stepped up the game of homeware I still don't really think it looks like you got it from Primark so I really like it I thought it was really nice so the next thing I got was this now this um was one of the things I went in for um and this is just the Toy Story Woody Pop Funko I got this for my little brother for Christmas um just because he generally loves Toy Story and I saw this was in there I know you can get Pop Funkos from a lot of other places but I thought for £9 for a Toy Story one was really good you can get Forky and Jesse, Gabby Gabby Combat Carl, Buzz, Bo Peep and all the other little characters but obviously Woody is his favourite so I picked Woody up for £9 and um, I also got a little miniature Buzz one which I actually got from him now um, but he obviously doesn't know I got this for him so yeah I got that for Christmas along with some other Woody bits oh yeah there's the box it was literally like this little size obviously compared to this one um, but this one was £3.50 and it's more like it's a uh, official pop Funko um, but it's a key ring so yeah he got, I got a Buzz one of those and a Woody Pop Funko, which obviously he will take out the box and play with, but I thought £9 was actually really good for that. The next thing, this is the one thing I went in there to get. I also wanted to get this Woody pillow, which I can't find, um, which I really, really, really want to get him. But um, I did manage to find the blanket and this is a Toy Story 4 blanket. It's got literally all the characters on it. Um, I feel like any any like child or even adult that loves Toy Story would really like this. It's really soft and it's a Toy Story 4 throw. It was £6 which I thought was a really good price for this because obviously it's Toy Story. If you're getting it in the Disney shop you'd actually pay so much more. So I'm really happy I managed to pick this up and it was actually there wasn't a lot there either. Um, so I'm really glad I managed to pick that up and I'm going to save that for Christmas as well. Next up I got some Primark Home Thirsty LED Warm Strip Lights. Um, I really wanted some of these for a really long time. I'm not quite sure where I'm going to put them yet and if I should have actually got some more to put in my wardrobe because I feel like that would look quite cool because I have like the Ikea open wardrobe um I think I'm actually going to put them across like my um makeup thing or across my shelf there I'm not quite sure yet but um whilst they're there I just really wanted to pick some up um I'm not really sure how they work at all but for two pound I thought they were quite good and you do also need batteries. We need batteries for them. I don't really know how they thought, I thought they worked though. But um, yeah, I managed to put these up £2, which is so much cheaper than if you find them on like Amazon and stuff as well. So things like this, I feel like they're really handy to pick up from Primark. The Toy Story section also, I got my brother, this is for now, is this is this cup. This is a Pizza Planet cup. This was £5, which I feel like is pricey. But again, it's like official Disney stuff. And in the Disney shop, I feel like it'd be a lot. So I'm actually really happy I managed to get this as well. I saw this is out, um, sold out in quite a few places, but it's just a cup and it's like the claw, the aliens. So yeah, I'm really glad I managed to get that as well. Next up, I managed to actually find, when I'm filming this actually as well, it is October 3rd. So it's officially like Mean Girls Day. I managed to get not one, but both mugs. Now they did have some other things in there as well. Let me get it out of that. So 
other mean girl stuff in there as well i really wanted them to have a phone case they didn't they had pajamas but the sizing was rubbish and they had a really nice they had the design i love which is she doesn't even go here one but it was on like a bralette like pajama top i'm not gonna go around the house in that like it's just not gonna happen so i didn't get that they didn't have the jumper in my size they only had extra smalls which is like a four to six and then they only had passport cover burn books and luggage tags which i feel like obviously people travel all year round but i thought was a bit like a more of a summer thing they could have done a phone case is all I'm saying but um I managed to get I saw this last week and didn't pick it up but I picked it up now and it's the that's so fetch glitter water bottle how cool is this this so looks like something you get from typo or something or like just not in Primark this was £5.50 and I feel like this would make a really cool like Christmas present or birthday present or just generally a good present for someone who loves Mean Girls like I do. So I managed to get that. I'm so happy I did. And then something I got as well. I don't generally drink tea, hot drinks, anything like that at all. I got myself a Mean Girls mug because I'm going to put my, I'm going to make use of something like this in my room. And it just says on Wednesdays we wear paint pink and it's a mug and it's pink and it's lovely and it's mean girls so i thought i'd pick it up and i'm sure i can find a use for it i just also picked up an over door hook this isn't mine so yeah they have these in here at the moment and oh my gosh the accessories so basically oh we've got some cleaning bits though as well pick these up for my mum because obviously minkies etc she has got a minky but she saw these and these are like the fake one these are like the dupe the primark dupes and these are just the cleaning sponges these were two pound for two which is actually really good so yeah i picked up these and then well we've got had they had so much clueless and mean girls merchandise in there the merchandise in there i feel like is the strong point in there at the moment they're killing like the disney killing the paramount merchandise at the moment and i managed to get mean girls hair hair clips and clueless hair clips so i saw the clueless ones first and they've got a whatever one a sher one and an as if and like the sher like iconic like this pattern these were three pound it sounds like only like a pound a hair clip and literally how cute are these they are so cool so i've got these ones and then if that wasn't enough this one says fetch it's like these aren't i don't feel like these shout mean girls as much as they could have but at the same time i do really love them and they just look a little bit like this i think they're so cool and so different and unique nowhere does things like this so i managed to get both of them they're so so cool i love them so much so i managed to get them too and then the last and then also in the hair section i just picked up this super cute little black hairband which will go like this and i just thought obviously i love my hairbands and i usually always get a hairband when i go to primark um but i just thought this one was a lot nicer and they did have some really nice diamond ones but they were quite expensive and this one was three pound and i did really like the detail on it and it was just a little bit thinner and more wearable than some of my other ones so i'm really glad i managed to pick that up and i do really really love it and the last mean girls thing i actually picked up is this mean girls key ring this was three pound do i have use for a key ring like no not really not a lot but at the same time this is literally the cutest thing i've ever seen and i think i will generally find use for it so it looks like this how cute is that i think it's so cool and i just love it i think it's so cool and unique and different and again nowhere does anything like this except for primark i just think it's really cool and i really really love it and i'm gonna try and find somewhere to put this so i can actually use it stocked it up they actually had my favorite eyelashes in usually if people ask me what eyelashes i'm wearing in my videos it will typically be either isla huda or these these lashes are two pound and honestly the best lashes i have ever used um so i haven't seen them in there probably since like april time but i managed to pick up i've only picked up six pairs um they look like this i don't know if you can tell literally how fluffy and like just pretty they are um so i picked they're called the 3d iconic lashes i picked up six pairs six pairs so i'm all stopped up again did i need any more lashes no but 
I thought I'd stock up because you never know when you're going to see them again. Next up, I just picked up. Next up, I picked up some super soft 120 round cosmetic pads. Um, I didn't get a lot of clothes. Generally, there wasn't a lot for like a lot of their clothes. Are slightly overpriced at the moment, so I did only pick up a few bits. The first thing I picked up was this though, and this is something I really did want. And this is just a high neck black um jumper. I got it in Excel, and I just really liked it. I thought it'd be very easy to wear. Obviously, I wear a lot of obviously i wear a lot of black and i love wearing the color black and i did i like wearing black i just feel like it's quite flattering on me and i just feel comfortable in it so they did have other colors but i just don't really like the gray and stuff um so obviously i got the black one this cost me 10 pound which i didn't actually think was too bad for like an actual woolly knitted jumper but it's essentially just a black knitted jumper get another black turtle neck <laughs> but this is like a thinner one which you can wear underneath things this one i got an xl as well and it was six pound and i had this identical exact one last year but i did over wear it it did get a hole in so i got another one god this is embarrassing everything is literally black i then got some black high-waisted jeans um these cost me 10 pound and i got them and i got them in 20 so they haven't literally changed these i you i do wear these jeans all the time i did buy a pair recently from asos which i decided to actually keep in the end but have a backup as well these have actually got a different button onto the ones i have at the moment so they might fit different but i did oh my god i didn't realize they had leg lengths on them that might be a problem i got a leg 28 oh so they might be too short so i hope they fit um but yeah um I just picked up a backup pair of these because these are literally the jeans I always have. Oh, there's one more. There's one more thing in the back. Um, so one of the, so second from last, I got a pair of XL regular fit joggers. I wanted a pair of joggers for the longest time. I've had looked on ASOS, pretty little thing, misguided, and they just all, always had weird things written on them. I just wanted a plain black pair of joggers. I didn't really think it'd be that hard to find. It actually is. So I managed to find some in Primark today. These cost me literally five pound which I feel like is really good because I'm not going to wearing them out. I just literally want them to fit in the house. Um, so I'll show what they look like on nevertheless, but they've literally just got cuff bottoms. They are black and they are soft as well. And they literally cost me five pound, which I think is incredible. So yeah, this is actually missing the Yugo Glen Coco pin, which I've just discovered on Instagram. Um, so I think I might actually take them back and see if I can swap them over. But it's got a Mean Girls, a bus on it. I'd rather have been missing the bus um, and a burn book one. So I'm not actually even sure where I'm going to put them really. But it is a pack of pins. I really like them. And yeah, they were £3. Again, I thought this would make a really nice gift for someone. Again, these are like really cool like stocking fillers. So yeah, um, they were £3. And I do really like them. But it has quite annoyed me that there is one missing. So that is today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I don't, I didn't get like, I spent a lot, but I didn't get a lot of clothes. I got a lot of accessories. I went and picked, I managed to get things I wanted to get, which I am really happy about. Especially like a lot of the things which I've seen a lot of other people talking about. I'm trying to hunt down in their primates on the moment so let me know what is your favorite thing which i got in this haul i think mine definitely is like the water bottles and the mug and the toy story things i just think they're really cool yeah thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and i'll see you in my next one bye